If you find Vanilla Minecraft boring and most other mod packs are too easy for you, you'll definitely like RL Crafts, since it's what we call a hardcore mod pack with game mechanics designed as close to real life as possible. Hi everyone, this is Morgan from 9to5Software. In this tutorial, we're gonna find out how to install RL Craft on a server, check out some of the best RL Craft server hosting providers, answer your most asked technical questions, and even give you tips on how to play. You can find links to all the mod packs, launchers, software, and services we talk about in the description. I'd also divided the video into sections. Feel free to jump into any part using the timestamps in the description. So, without further ado, let's get started. When you first load up RL Craft, you are greeted by a beautiful world promising you endless opportunities. But don't let the looks deceive you. There's something that could kill you with every step you take, whether it be extremely aggressive mobs, weather, or spawning in lava. RLC is one of the most challenging mod packs out there, with close to 170 mods and regular updates. It's built on Minecraft 1.12.2, and its latest stable update is 2.9.1. Just as in real life, you also cannot punch down trees or break rocks with your bare hands in RLC. Regardless of your spawn location, there will be gravel scattered across the earth. Make sure to collect them, as they'll come in handy when crafting tools. Using four of these gravels you see in the picture above, you can craft a cobblestone. Remember, you cannot punch down a cobblestone yet, so this is the only way to get your hands on one. Next, you'll need sticks to create a basic stone tool, such as an axe or a dagger. However, as we mentioned, you cannot punch trees yet, so instead, you'll after leaves and branches. They occasionally drop these little sticks in the picture above, which you'll need to pick up. Normally, the game would automatically pick up any item you walk over. But in RLC, you'll either crouch to gather them all or right-click on the item to collect it. Because hey, it's real life, right? Once you have your cobblestone and sticks, you can create a stone dagger. It'll be enough to defend yourself from not-so-strong enemies and get you through your first few nights in these hostile lands. As much as it is about survival, RLC is also about exploration. As soon as you have yourself the means to defend yourself, your immediate next task should be finding a shelter. It shouldn't be too hard because there are many new biomes and over 200 custom generations. You'll be able to find randomly generated houses, castles, mine shafts, ruins, and villages all over. Your surrounding and health are extremely important in this mod pack, and you should pay close attention to your temperature, hunger, and thirst. RLC not only forces you to eat when you get hungry, but you should also find a source of water when you get thirsty. It could be rain or a body of water. But not all bodies of water are the same. If you drink from a contaminated source or salt water, you'll get sick, for example. Fun, isn't it? There isn't a single definitive answer to this question, as different weapons are more suited for specific tasks. However, the saber, rapier, halberd, and greatsword are some of the melee weapons in the mod pack. Dragonbone Strengthened Longbow is personally my favorite long-range weapon. RLC is one of the most popular mod packs for Minecraft out there. For that reason, most Minecraft server hosting providers have it covered in their one-click mod pack installers, which makes it possible to install and play the mod pack in a few minutes. The process is the same for most providers, and we'll demonstrate it on GameTeam.io. To install RL Craft on your game team server, first, log into your game team account. Get a server with at least 8 gigs of RAM if you don't have it already. Go to Mod Packs in the navigation menu. Select Curse Forge from the list of launchers. Search for RLC in the search bar or find it in the list of available Curse Mod Packs. Select your game version and click on Install. Your server will be ready in under a minute. RLC stands for Real Life Craft. It gets its name from the fact that the mod pack changes most game elements to be as close to real life as possible. For example, if you cut down a tree and it falls on you, you get damage. RLC is a free mod pack, but Minecraft itself isn't. If you already have paid for Minecraft, simply download CurseForge and download RLC from the mod pack list. You don't pay for the mod pack itself, but there will be certain costs associated with hosting the server. First of all, RLC is a resource-intensive mod pack, meaning that you'll need at least 8 gigs of RAM just to host the mod pack on a server. You'll also need more RAM as more friends play the game with you. Based on this, hosting RLC on a premium server that won't lag will cost you around $20 to $50 per month. 
There are multiple reasons. First of all, it's been almost five years since the mod pack came out. So it had a lot of time to spread around and for YouTubers to make a lot of let's plays about it. Second, it's intriguing to people who want a challenging game because anything and everything will and can kill you in the game. Mobs are hard to deal with. Even the arrow skeletons shoot might finish you with one shot, depending on where it hits you, like a headshot. All these aspects make the game very popular among gamers who want more than just mining, building, and farming. First of all, forget about playing RLC or any similar mod packs on a server with one or two gigs of RAM. We tested it on a four gigs of RAM on the off chance that it might be enough, but unfortunately it lagged quite a bit, both on the PC and server. Then we allocated eight gigs of RAM and everything was smoother from then on. So for RLC, we recommend eight gigs of RAM if you're playing alone and 16 gigs or more if you're playing with friends. If we were to list the top three hardest Minecraft mod packs, RLC would definitely be in the top three, along with others such as Blood and Bones, Dimension Zero, Artifact Quest, and others. Make sure to also give these a try if you want a challenging gaming experience. A mod pack is essentially a collection of many mods designed to create a specific theme and mechanics for the game. Although there is no official RLC for Minecraft Bedrock, you can still individually install most of the mods Bedrock Edition and create an experience very similar to RLC. It won't be the same and you might not be able to play it with your friends unless they also go through the same process, but it is still possible. There's a good Reddit thread about it explaining and linking to the mods you'll need. I personally suggest just getting the Java Edition. Original RLC doesn't have magic, but if you additionally download and install this mod called RLC Mana Forge, you can use magic to cast spells and attack mobs. It also brings some of the iconic weapons from movies and TAV series to the game. 4 gigs of RAM is not enough for a mod pack like RLC, which packs a lot of texture and realism mods. Even installing it on a PC with 4 gigs of RAM dedicated to Minecraft had problems and it regularly crashed during the installation. If you're playing an alum on your computer, you'll need to allocate 8 gigs of RAM or preferably more. Yes, for playing real life craft alone, 8 gigs should be enough. You won't have any issues installing or during the gameplay. However, you may need to turn down some of the video settings, mainly clouds and block generation. You should aim for at least 16 gigs of RAM on the server if you plan on playing it together with your friends, otherwise you will have a laggy gameplay. RLC is a very resource intensive mod pack because of the 170 mods it runs. Therefore, it requires some serious RAM and hardware. If your computer or the server you're playing on doesn't have sufficient RAM, you should check out some of the other mod packs that require less computing power. Play with the game's video settings and see if you can get better performance. You don't need realistic clouds or insanely high frame rates. Also, turn off V-Sync, graphics, and smooth lighting. If your PC has enough RAM, but the game is still lagging, you might annually need to allocate more RAM to the game. Usually, the system automatically assigns half of your available RAM, so there's enough computing power for other system applications running behind the scene. But you can give all you have to Minecraft. Close all other applications that might be running in the background, including browsers, music players, and other applications. Just a Google Chrome tab playing a YouTube video could be using half of your RAM without you knowing about it. If you need to run RLC on a lower-end PC and playing on a high RAM isn't a possibility, the only option is reducing the game settings and giving the game all the RAM you have. Please follow the instructions we have mentioned. If none of them work for you, you may have to play other mod packs. That's it for this tutorial, everyone. I hope we've been able to answer some of your questions. If you have more to ask, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out using the contact form.